guess what? We are at Ecom Chicago, and I've got some. I've got some Mommy Income members with me today. Some of them want to be on camera and some don't. So what we're doing is we just left Ecom. They kind of finished for the day. And we're doing live sourcing. We're at Savers. And if you don't have Savers, it is like a thrift store. So we're at Savers. We're live. We're going to do some live sourcing. We have a new member, a couple of new members with us today. We also have Sue, Sue McGrath. Um, one of our Mommy Income members there, and um, Susie Headley is here with us, and Scott Zilke, the Ro the Row Warrior. So I'm going to be filming him most of the time. And Amy's here, and Matt is our new um, member, too, so we're going to be filming them. What's up, Mr. Full-Time FDA? We're live sourcing again at Savers, and we're going to see what we can find here. It's like a thrift store, so if you guys don't have that, cool. And hit me up with some hearts. i got to figure out who won the contest earlier for the hearts, but I'm on the road to 10,000 or 100,000 hearts, hopefully by the end of the weekend, so hook me up tap that screen all right and so now we're gonna say hello to Scott this is Scott say hi hi this is Scott look at what he got this is an answering machine system okay show us let's see if I can see your screen so he's using scan power so it comes up a little bit better it's five dollars it's five dollars very good condition 1799 very good condition 1799 the, the rank, rank is, is 1200 1200 so look at what he's got already brand new Chia pet so we're finding price $19, price is $4.99. So this is original, the Chia Cat. So this is the kind of stuff Scott likes to source. He's not worried about showing your stuff because I'll take that. So yeah, fire up those hearts, you guys. Someone get me to 10,000, everybody gets a gift, or 100,000. So here's a tapeless digital answering machine. Here's something else he found. The next answering machine. Next answering machine. Oops. So here's what he found. He's gonna scan it. Digital. I missed, I missed it. Oh, there we go. Digital answering machine. And yes, he's using a scan fob, and he's got an iPhone S6 Plus. It's S only, Plus. It's only eleven dollars on four. Okay, eleven dollars on four. So he's debating. Why are you debating? Tell us why you're debating. Because it's only gonna bring back four to five dollars. But the reason why I'm going to buy it. Is the rank? Can you see reason, the rank? The reason why he's gonna buy it is the rank. The rank is 52. 52. So that's going on the cart too. And see, this is the kind of stuff. This is the aisle that he's in right now. I mean, some things you gotta realize. The the money, you take less money for something that's gonna go. It's gonna sell the day it gets there. Right. We're pretty close. Right. And people understand that about rank. They ask you what what return do you look for. Depends on what the rank is. Right. Absolutely. And, you know, if that was a three hundred thousand, they'd be sitting on the shelf. But fifty-two. Yeah. That's a, that's a goer. All right, so he's looking for stuff. Um, so yeah, we're just at Savers, kind of looking around here. See, you gotta pick through bins like this. You know, you don't wanna sell things like this because they're they'll probably expire, but you never know, so. You do? Yeah, I don't care, I have to ask it. Here you go, scan this, I found this. Just to see, it's brand new in the box. Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse. See if that's anything. It's kind of expensive. Oh, uh, it's not found. So that's all right. See, you never know what you're gonna find at thrift stores. And we're gonna find Amy. She's probably thrifting. So he's looking. He's always Scott's always looking for um, electronics. But you know, there's things that like new on in the box. So this is again, we are thrifting. And. Um, looking for new in the box stuff what do you guys think of this you think that's worth anything I don't I can't scan and source at the same time or source and, and periscope at the same time so it's a different stuff what do you guys see anything good so they're six dollars a case about 15 cases of them. I'm sell them. So every time one sell, they make $1, $2, okay. $1 whatever you Tell us what you're doing now. In. Yeah, they're they're welcome to swords. Okay. So since you can't you can't scan that, you're still selling sell that at FBA? Or is that going to be at eBay? No, it would be FBA, but it's missing. It's a missing a part. Okay. That's a that's a very good lesson. If you're going to use the FBA, it's got to be complete. Mm -hmm. Not yeah. complete means... But used and complete is still okay. I don't do used and complete. If it's not complete, I don't do it. No, that's what I mean. Used and but you'll sell that used on Amazon right there if it's complete. He's looking at a cassette tape. This is stuff people. This is one of the reasons why we talk about this kind of stuff. Um, I'm gonna talk to you for a minute. 
because I'm just walking around, so sorry. But this is one of the reasons why we have to think outside of what we normally look at, because I personally probably wouldn't have looked at that kind of stuff first because it would scare me. But this is why sharing different people's experiences can really help you, because he's looking at cassette tapes, or he, he just sold a VCR the other day for $300. So, um... You know, just things that you're not normally looking for all the time and um, things that are outside of your comfort zone because, you know, if, if you're only looking for things that interest you or things that you think that you would do, um, you're missing out on a whole lot of product. You know, so this is why it's great to have a community of people. I'm going sourcing with people that, you know, I'm just meeting for the first time, at least face to face, and seeing the sections that they go to first to where I would probably go to toys and, um, and start there, start with maybe a health and beauty or something like that to where Scott immediately goes to the electronics and looks for these answering machines and these, you know, things like that. So right away he found two different things and, uh, you know, uses this app to look up stuff. And then there's just a bunch of stuff here on the walls um, that I'll flip back around. I'm going to find Amy because I bet she's scanning somewhere else and uh, see what she has to find in store. But maybe we'll show you guys some more goodies. So, um, like I said, anybody have suggestions on certain stores? Somebody said Toys and Savers is a great place. So I'm going to see if we can't find stores. We're like with stores crawling with scanners right now. Everybody's kind of sourcing. And Sue doesn't want to be on camera, so I won't put her on camera. But she's here. And we're going to find Amy. And we're going to find stuff. But, you know, just even thrifting and bouncing around. I mean, there's a ton of, like, there's a book section here that's absolutely huge. I'll turn it around so you can see. I tap my own screen. Come on, it's not flipping around. There we go. Okay, so like there's walls of books. So if you guys do books and you don't go to Savers or wherever else, it's buy four, get one free. Their prices are up to 700 but or 700 7.94 and a dollar 99 um 2.99 so you know they're really inexpensive so you can scan all kinds of books and they have them um, categorized so if you know you can skip things like romance novels because they're just a dime a dozen you're not going to make any money off that but then you can go towards um self-help or you can go towards oh there's more electronics so there's looks like a Lexmark printer that's just in the box. So, you know, going with different people and finding different things is really helpful. Maybe you can go sourcing and it's a fresh eye. See, look, this is book section. This is um, all kinds of textbooks. So this might be worth your time to start scanning these and just try to see if there's anything new and books and games. And yeah, board games is kind of where I was going to go next because, you know, Mr. Full-Time FBA has this awesome book called Resell Reseller's Guide to Board Games, and this is a great place to buy board games. And a lot of times they're new in the package, so hopefully we can find um, some right here. And don't even forget about uh, stuff like this. Okay, I know, don't be grossed out. They're not used, but look at this. 99 cents for some uh, overnight pads and prevail which is like depends you know they're brand new in the package so you never know what you can do with that see I can't scan these I'm gonna go find Amy and see if she can scan some stuff for me she's probably filling her cart well she can't because she has to fly home but um, just like I said there's so many different sections in a store like this that you can shop with and seeing everything with new eyes if you're an eBay seller this is a gold mine this is a gold mine this thing right here sells for around $50 on uh, on Amazon or eBay and even on Amazon used if you can get it in a box it's very much of a pain to take apart but it sells at Q4 this is Fisher Price little people like Weebles this is $5.99 this and it's in great shape this would sell well I'm tempted to buy that honestly because I know it'll sell for 50 or $60 on Amazon um, you know, here's something, some newer stuff. You know, there's Connects for those that are doing eBay sellers. You know, Connects. And even the manuals for Connects sell for 5 to $10, depending on what sets they are, and Legos. So be mindful of that. Um, there's so many different things here uh, to find. But I'm looking, I'm going to go look at board games and puzzles. Hey, Steven, show me if I pass one. You're like, hey, scan that. You know, this is the kind of stuff you're seeing. 
you can scan new how would you sell it without a box on Amazon I put it in a box so if I have something on Amazon like that used toy that I would be selling or something like this this is an Imaginex castle type thing dragon castle from last year and if you're familiar with toys and you know it has all the parts and it all works you can find a box for it and you can package just package it up in its own box and put your label on the outside you can sell collectible they're in collect collectible condition we use toys on Amazon um, this is also something I've done before sometimes there's electronic talking helmets like this is a Star Wars voice changing electronic helmet looks like it's in great shape the price is a little pricey but um, that's something that you could look for there um, and you can box it up if you have um, if you have something here's something that I've sold this is your bolo if you can find these at your thrift shops these are Imaginex dinosaurs that are have been um, discontinued they're not they're hard to find they're easy to clean up with Mr. Clean Magic Erase you can sell these used for twenty to thirty dollars and replace the batteries it has batteries and you just put it in a regular box and sell it as collectible and you know people pay for this all of Q4 here's another one so yeah here's a pair look this up this is Imaginex uh, red dinosaur this is five bucks so batteries might cost you an extra dollar to get them at Costco you'll sell that in the, this one the eyes light up and it talks and it's everything else so yeah that's awesome tip Stephen thank you yeah I, I do that you have to um, make sure the battery compartments not corroded and the batteries didn't get all nasty because um, that's something else here's another one this is something I've sold these personally on on eBay and Amazon used or in gently used condition these dinosaurs that are Imaginex they walk they talk they make noise so if you for a dollar a couple dollars plus batteries these are what these look like and there seem to be at this store at least a dime a dozen so you want to make sure that you're looking at some of those things and finding your you know finding goodies like that there's money to be made in used toys and we're looking for used puzzles I know he wrote the book on that so there's not too much here when it comes to board games and puzzles I'm actually kind of sad <laughs> it's like I was looking for the mother load there right now so we're gonna go find the crew and see what they're coming up with because I'm sure now here's something that still has a tag I don't it doesn't look like it's in very good condition to me as far as but it has the tag so that's something someone might want to scan <laughs> I don't know. I'd probably leave it behind because it looks a little grubby to me to be in news condition. Okay, and even Steven told us to look at this if it has all the pieces, right? So this is what we do. This doesn't take that long. Yahtzee Jr. Hi. So what you got? Show us what you got. I got this thing. Okay, Amy's got something. So she found luck of the draw. She's going to scan. No fob? I'm being slow. Uh-oh. My fob is around my neck. She's got her fob, so it's going. This so, is a 300,000 rank toy. So. 300,000 rank, so it's not super low, but look, you can't see. So I'll read them to you. 46, 44 in used condition and average condition, non-FBA. So that's in used condition here. There are no, you, no used FBA no sellers. No used FBA sellers. Did you check all the pieces? I have not checked all the pieces. That payout yet. says 46, 44, and this is $4. So scan these board games at these thrift stores. And here's another one Steven told us to check. So this is Mickey Yahtzee. So if it has all the pieces, this is going to be worth it. 114000 114000 44 it's new. No used sellers. No used sellers. That'll um, sell. So this will sell. And this is what? A couple of bucks? So, Four bucks. Yeah, Steven, post my affiliate link for that book. I don't have a producer. She's with me. So show me that. Okay, this is Monopoly. This is just live making money right here. So here's Monopoly, Disney higher Edition, rank. higher rank, 327,000 in rank. Um, used very good is 32.94, non FBA, it looks like. So we're going to, you know, this is just all you do. You open this stuff up and you just make sure that all the pieces are there. This is what Steven Smotherman, full time FBA book kind of teaches you teaches you ew someone's hair okay so there's inside the book so there's one two three four five and you look on the list usually it says the setup and the list of how what's in the box 
So it just takes a couple seconds. I mean, I'm just looking through here like, okay, right there, contents. Contents, five dice, 20 scoring tokens, dice cup, scoreboard, and label sheet. That doesn't have the label sheet because the labels are already on. So one, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, so this one, I'm gonna check underneath the board, but this one's not complete. So we don't, we don't wanna sell anything that's not complete unless you can find the parts on eBay. And the parts are not in here. This is not complete. So unfortunately, we have to leave this $45 bill behind. Unless you go to eBay and you find that they have pieces for this. That might be worth your time and energy. If you're doing this on a budget, you can make $40 by buying a $4 board game if you go to eBay and buy the pieces. And this is the kind of stuff that Steven Smotherman teaches in his book. So that's something. All right, Amy, we're going to scan these puzzles because these are brand new. So, brand new puzzle. I'm getting my scanner because I can't do it with that. Hold on. Dollar ninety-nine. Okay, so that's kind of a high rank. It high says rank. four hundred thousand. Four hundred thirty-three thousand. Yeah. And it's four dollars. So that's not going to be worth it, but it's worth a try. Here's one. Scan this. Baby Einstein cards. Seek and discover cards. I know Baby Einstein stuff sells well, so this is what it looks like. Two and a half million. Two and a half million in book rank. Right. Um, for 12 bucks. So that's not going to be worth it. So, you know, things like that or something. Amy's still counting board game pieces. Yeah, this one has a lot of but pieces to it. you just never know. So, <laughs> Steven, you're too kind. I was just joking about that. Okay, so that's my link. So if you watch the chat, that's the link to go buy this book that we're talking about that's going to teach you how to source board games.